Welcome to Lakes TV. My name is Kerry Jenna and I bring you news ranging from entertainment, politics, business and many more. You can follow us on all social media platforms at lakesnews.com and please do all to subscribe to this channel, like our videos, share and leave your comments as well. Without wasting much time, let's get into today's uh, trends. Um, before I get into today's trends, I want to take this opportunity to wish all mothers around the globe a happy Mother's Day. God bless you all. Yes, let's get into today's topics. Um, trending at number one is the VGME. Kiddy wins artist of the year at the VGMEs. Okay, day one of the VGME was, uh, I think, Friday, and surprisingly, didn't cause enough stir amongst Ghanaians. It was just something normal. But day two was yesterday, that was Saturday, yeah, and Kiddy. But it had a lot of um, amazing performances, you know, and the whole show crowned Kiddy as the artist of the year. And there has been a bit of rumors flying around saying that he didn't deserve it. But I don't stand a chance in giving a, a verdict. But as to whether he does or he does not, uh, I think we should leave it there. But uh, all I want to tell you is that Kiddy was crowned as the artist of the year with um, other people winning uh, other awards and things okay well the touch it singer made a profound statement which i believe people haven't taken into consideration yet before he received the award he said uh and i quote delay is not denial glory be to god uh as of now, I can't really explain or tell you what he actually meant by that statement. But per where I stand, I know that Kiddy has been through a lot. In an interview, he said he once said that climbing up to where he has got into hasn't been an easy journey. His family, like they weren't, uh, his family weren't supportive of the pursue, uh, the the career he wanted to pursue. So he went through a lot. Especially his mom and his dad, they weren't, um, um, they weren't happy about the career he wanted to pursue. So he had to go through a lot. He had to convince them, and and today, by God's grace, look at where he has got into. So, per where I stand, I will use this as my grounds and say that um, he, as an artist, thinks he has, um, thinks he deserved this award way back way way back but it's now that he has gotten it that's why he's saying delay is not denial uh glory be to god yeah and he also gave special vote of thanks to a few people including his mom and uh other people because of time i wouldn't mention their names okay so moving to the next topic stoneboy pays for the release of tiny's seized vehicle yeah, you and I know Tiny already. Tiny is a Ghanaian rapper who does well in rapping in Ghana. Yeah, and his birth name is Ni Adokweno, but he's popularly known by his stage name as Tiny. Just recently, reports came out and we all read the, the news and it said that Tiny had um, received money from an event manager to perform at an event at the OT region, but he couldn't show up. I wouldn't say he decided not to show up because as of now we don't know why he didn't show up so I'll say that he couldn't show up at the event and following that the event manager decided to report the case at the Taifa police station and based on the report the police seized his, his car and he was asked to he was fined and he was asked to pay the, the amount he owed the event manager before tomorrow which is May 9th else he will face um, um, trial and the one guy singer Stoneboy on hearing this news decided to um, just clear pay the debt for him and then so that Tiny gets his car back he said that on a, a radio station at an interview and hope uh, truly truly he paid for the debt and I, I can't tell at this moment whether Tiny has gotten his car or not, but I promise you that any further information that will evolve out of this um, 
um, report will be made available on our website at lexinews.com. You can visit our website at lexinews.com for all information, all updates, trending news and, and stuff. Thank you. Um, moving to the next headline. Okay. Former President John Mahama has urged everyone not to follow any account in his daughter's name. Uh, former President John Dramani Mahama has, uh, I think, he has five children, and his last born is uh, a girl, and she's called Farida Mahama. According to the former president, John Dramani Mahama, he says that his daughter, his daughter doesn't own any social media account. Account. So if you happen to pass by or come across any social media account bearing his daughter's name, you shouldn't follow. And if you are already following, you should quickly unfollow because these people are just scammers who are trying to uh, make ends meet with those accounts they have over there. Yeah, so he was um, telling Ghanaians about his daughter's uh, status that his daughter doesn't have any social media account. So please be careful if you follow any account with the with account name Farida Mahama, please do unfollow quickly because that's not the real Farida Mahama yeah um, that's all we have for today this is a quick one we don't want to waste anyone's anyone's time because we realize that reading has become uh, a, a bit of a hurdle for people of these days you know Ghanaians of these days have become very busy because their economy is not helping us at all so when you wake up in the morning you have to be on the grind you have to you know work hard and work hard and work hard so we don't actually have time for reading you so we decided to add this video section to it so that if even if you are busy you can be watching our video whilst you are going about your daily activities yeah so thank you for your time with me my name is Kerry Jenna and until next time it's lexinews.com but please do not forget to subscribe to this channel like our videos share and leave your comments as well Lex TV thank you Thank you.